Pardon the intrusion number 8, Location Trackers. Subscribe to this bi-weekly newsletter here. Welcome to the latest edition of Pardon the Intrusion, TNW's bi-weekly newsletter in which we explore the wild world of security. Early birds get all the good stuff like a great price on TNW 2020 tickets. Gimme. Owning a mobile phone today is an open invitation to be tracked by telecom firms and any company you grant permission to access your current whereabouts. Granted, this has its advantages. Giving, say, Google Maps permissions to your location can help you quickly plot the route to your next destination, or find interesting sites and restaurants around you. But just as with any piece of personal information, your aggregate location data can reveal a lot more about you. It can allow anyone with access to the data to chart your movements as you commute from home to work, and vice versa. It can also be used for targeting ads. Look no further than this recent investigative report from the New York Times, which got hold of a massive cache of more than 50 billion location pings from the phones of more than 12 million Americans as they moved through several major cities, including Washington, New York, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Only in this case, the data didn't come from a carrier or a tech company, but from a location data broker that stealthily collects your precise movements using software slipped into mobile phone apps. This has serious implications for our online privacy and security, especially in the aftermath of revelations that Facebook tracks your location even when you opt out of location tracking on your phones. On one side are the convenient services offered by the apps by cataloging your every move. On the other side is privacy. It's time to decide if the trade-offs are worth it. Do you have a burning cybersecurity question, or a privacy problem you need help with? Drop them in an email to me, and I'll discuss it in the next newsletter. Now, on to more security news. What's trending in security? The global problem of ransomware went from bad to worse as Maastricht University, the U.S. Coast Guard, and IT services provider Synoptec became the latest victims over the past few days. Even more worrisome is that the bad guys behind the maze ransomware have released two gigabytes of files that were allegedly s for more on this story, visit the news article link.